Hi there, I am Emily Day from Macmillan, and I'm so excited to be here with my colleagues, Talia, Amanda, and Samantha. And we are here to share some upcoming titles from Wednesday Books and Flatiron Books. But before we do that, here are all of the ways that you can get in touch with us. And we're everywhere on the internet, and we love talking to librarians. So please feel free to reach out for any reason. Next slide. And also be sure to check out the Days YA column on our website. Uh, you can find YA reviews there and all sorts of YA content. So be sure to check that out at the link on the screen. And with that, let's get on to the books. First up is When They Call You a Terrorist, the YA edition by Patrice Concolors and Asha Bendeli. Patrice Concolors and Asha Bendeli's instant New York Times bestselling memoir has now been adapted for a young adult audience with photos and journal entry, entries. From one of the co-founders of the Black Lives Matter Global Network comes a poetic memoir and reflection on humanity. Necessary and timely, Patrice's story asks us to remember that protest in the interest of the most vulnerable comes from love. Leaders of the Black Lives Matter movement have been called terrorists, a threat to America, but in truth, they are loving women whose life experiences have led them to seek justice for those victimized by the powerful. In this meaningful, empowering account of survival, strength, and resilience, Patrice Cullors and Asha Vendeli seek to change the culture that declares innocent Black life expendable. Next slide. A Golden Theory by Samantha Coho. This debut from Samantha Coho is set in 18th century Oxford in a dangerous world of alchemy and betrayal. Thea Hope dreams of following in her alchemist mother's footsteps. But, and the pair are close to creating the Philosopher's Stone, which grants the possessor immortality and the power to turn any metal into gold. But when Thea's mother suddenly destroys the stone, Thea learns that the stone is cursed, and anyone who tries to create it will lose their sanity. Thea is sent to Oxford for her safety to live with her father, who doesn't know she exists, and she soon must figure out how to save the people she loves without destroying herself in the process. Um, I also want to quickly point out the Edelweiss and NetGalley logos beneath the jackets. Um, anytime you see those, that means that the eGalley is available on those sites, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. You Have a Match by Emma Lord. Uh, this is Emma Lord's, well, Emma Lord's debut, Tweet Cute, um, took the world by storm with its romance and wit, and now Emma is back with her second novel, You Have a Match. For parent trap fans everywhere, you Have a Match is the story of two sisters, Abby and Savannah, who have no idea the other exists until Abby signs up for a DNA service and discovers she has a sister. The plan is to meet up at summer camp where Abby intends to figure out once and for all why her parents put Savannah up for adoption. But she's about to uncover some deeply buried secrets and learn that there's way more to her family than she ever imagined. Tales from the Hinterland by Melissa Albert. Before the Hazelwood, there was Althea Proserpine's Tales from the Hinterland, a gorgeously illustrated collection of 12 original short stories by Melissa Albert. Journey into the Hinterland, a brutal and beautiful world where a young woman spends a night with death, brides are wed to a mysterious house in the trees, and an enchantress is killed twice and still lives. Please check out the beautiful interior spreads on Edelweiss. Next slide. Shadow City by Francesca Flores. In this sequel to Diamond City, Ina has fought her way to the top of criminal ranks by wresting control of an assassin empire owned by her old boss, Cole. But someone is working to take away her power and will destroy anyone who stands in his way. To defeat him, Ina resorts to betrayal, poison, and a deadly type of magic that hasn't been used in years. This is an action-packed fantasy about a girl who perseveres through poverty, violence, and loss to achieve a future for herself. This series is ideal for fans of Lee Bardugo, Adrian Young, and Laura Sebastian. Next slide. The Project by Courtney Summers. Uh, now I'm sure Courtney Summers needs no introduction, but just in case you are new here and are looking for an author who will break your heart a million times over, I give you Courtney Summers. Courtney's last book, Sadie, captivated and traumatized readers everywhere as they joined in the search for a missing girl. Now, welcome to the project. <laughs> 
This is a pulls no punches thriller about an aspiring young journalist determined to save her sister from a cult. But as she delves deeper, everything she thought she knew about her sister, herself, cults, and the world around her is upended to the point where she can no longer tell what is real or true. Next slide. Everything That Burns by Dita Trelise. This is the sequel to All That Glitters, which was originally published as Enchante. Camille Durbon gambled everything she had to keep herself and her sister safe. But as the people of Paris starve and mobs riot, safety may no longer be possible. In this new Paris where allegiances shift and violence erupts, the answers Camille seeks set her on a perilous path, one that may cost her the boy she loves, even her life. If she can discover who she truly is before vengeful forces unmask her, she may still win this deadly game of revolution. Readers of young adult fantasy, historical romance, and more will all find much to sink their teeth into with everything that burns. It's an elegant continuation of a story for readers who love to lose themselves in a story and in another world. Amelia Unabridged by Ashley Shoemaker. 18-year-old Amelia Griffin is obsessed with the famous Ormond Chronicles, written by the young and reclusive prodigy N.E. Ensley. They're the books that brought her and her best friend Jenna together after Amelia's father left and her family imploded. So when Amelia and Jenna get the opportunity to attend a book festival with Ensley in attendance, Amelia is ecstatic. It's the perfect way to start off their last summer before college. But then things go horribly wrong. When Jenna gets the chance to meet the author and Amelia doesn't, the two have a blowout fight like they've never had before. And before Amelia has a chance to mend things, Jenna dies in a freak car accident. Grief stricken and without her best friend to guide her, Amelia questions everything she had planned for the future. Then a mysterious rare edition of the Ormond Chronicles arrives and Amelia is convinced that it somehow came from Jenna. Tracking the book to an obscure but enchanting bookstore in Michigan, Amelia is shocked to find herself face to face with the enigmatic and handsome N.E. Ensley himself, the reason for Amelia and Jenna's fight and perhaps the clue to what Jenna wanted to tell her all along. Ashley Shoemaker's devastating and beautiful debut is about finding hope and strength within yourself and maybe, just maybe, falling in love while you do it. And you can also download a coloring page of Amelia Unabridged at the link on your page. And you can also find it on our website. Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Why Edition by Jeff Chang and Dave Cook. This is the most acclaimed written history of hip hop, a movement and music that transformed the world forever, updated and geared for young readers. Jeff Chang and Dave Cook tell the story of hip hop from its beginnings through the present day in this new special edition for young adults. They bring the story through Black Lives Matter and the most important icons of the moment. Based on original interviews, this wholly updated book chronicles the epic events, ideas, and the music that have defined American and global culture. Down Comes the Night by Allison Saft is a gorgeously gothic, snow-drenched and deeply romantic YA debut fantasy about two enemies trapped inside a crumbling mansion with no escape from the monsters within. It is perfect for fans of Emily Duncan and Victoria Aviard. And speaking of Emily Duncan, she called Down Comes the Night utter magic, truly spectacular and a must read. So this is definitely one that gothic horror fans will not want to miss. Anna Kay Away by Jenny Lee. At the end of Anna Kay, a modern retelling of Anna Karenina, tragedy struck. In Anna Kay Away, we follow the cast throughout the course of the next summer as they deal with the fallout of the previous book's events. Anna's father has taken her to South Korea so she can connect with her family there and learn about her roots. Back in the US, the rest of the characters are falling in love, falling out of love, and having a summer they'll never forget. Anna Kay Away is full of the risk, joy, heartbreak, and adventure that marks the three months of a single life-changing summer. Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez is Leia on the Offbeat meets To All the Boys I've Loved Before meets Jack of Hearts and Other Parts. A bisexual girl who gives anonymous love advice to her classmates is hired, or maybe blackmailed, by the hot guy to help him get his ex back. This book is unapologetically queer with an ensemble of ridiculously fun characters and a protagonist that you will want to root for. That Way Madness Lies, edited by Dahlia Adler. 15 acclaimed YA authors put their modern spin on William Shakespeare's celebrated classics. 
It includes works by authors such as Patrice Caldwell, Melissa Basherdoust, Anna Marie Macklemore, Toshi Anyabuchi, Marta Groshiro, Kirsten White, and many more. This is a perfect introduction for readers new to the works of Shakespeare, as well as an ode for those who are already devoted fans of the Bard. Namesake by Adrienne Young. First, there was Elin, the Viking warrior in Sky in the Deep. Then there was Tova, the powerful truth tongue in The Girl the Sea Gave Back. And now we have Fable, a traitor and fighter trying to survive in a world built for men. Filled with action, emotion, and lyrical writing, New York Times bestselling author Adrienne Young returns with Namesake, the final book in the captivating Fable duology. With the marigold ship free of her father, Fable and her crew were set to start over. That freedom is short-lived when she becomes a pawn in a notorious thug's scheme. As Fable descends deeper into a world of betrayal and deception, she learns that her mother was keeping secrets, and those secrets are now putting the people Fable cares about in danger. If Fable is going to save them, she must risk everything, including the boy she loves and the home she has finally found. Blessed Monsters by Emily A. Duncan the shocking conclusion to the instant New York Times best-selling Something Dark and Holy trilogy. The girl, the monster, the prince, the queen. Together, they broke the world, and some things can never be undone. In Emily A. Duncan's Blessed, Blessed Monsters, they must unite once more to fight the dark chaos they've unleashed, but is it already too late? Slingshot by Mercedes Helmwine. Acidly funny and compulsively readable, Mercedes Helwine's debut novel, Slingshot, is a story about two people finding each other and then screwing it all up. See also soulmate, friendship, stupidity, sex, bad poetry, and all the indignities of being in love for the first time, featuring a fierce, real, no-holds-barred heroine. This, this exciting debut is perfect for fans of Rainbow Wow and Mary H.K. Choi. That's it from us. If you have any questions about anything we presented, here are all of the ways you can get in touch with us. Thank you all so much for listening. Bye.